Got it. Is that, was that it? We got it. You got it? Yep. This guy's the man. Is it still alive? Look at this! Show Kenny, that's your footage. <laughs> Check out the video of Kenny riding in Germany. This is the footage. Bonzi. Check it out, we just parked and who is in the back? Who is in the back? Isabella! Isabella. <laughs> How was it in the back? Amazing! The Unimog is pretty soft, it is. I have to That's say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Kenny. Back there no, not really, I was not. Okay. Welcome Thank to you. my hometown. I love it. Amazing, we met in New yes. York City mm -hmm. and now he's in my hometown in Germany and he got himself a Unimog. I am Isabella and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home Frank the Tank for the past almost four years. And together with our son Mateo and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain, and Basco from Germany, we are living even for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. Hello, lovely friends. Welcome to a new episode of Living in for Before. And you probably already saw a little intro of what the video of today is about. And this is very cool because we met Kenny in New York and we had the, everything, the whole interview recorded since last year, but we never really had time to post it. Then we decided to do today. <laughs> we are still strolling around in the search of warm weather. We want to be without jackets. I hope that pretty soon we will find that. And we also wanted to ask you guys to do something for us. We, uh, we have a survey going on here on the description of this video or above here, I think. I'm not sure where I would put, probably in both places. And this survey will help us to create content that will be really nice because we will know better uh, why are you guys following us, uh, what you like. And I hope that you enjoyed this video, the interview of this amazing Unimog. Big kiss. So hi guys! So look who is here now in Germany! <laughs> awesome! I mean, you don't know him, but you will get to know him. This is Kenny. Mm -hmm. Hi Kenny. How's it going? Welcome to Germany. Uh, yeah, we are so happy to have Kenny here. And look what's even not more important, but also important. Kenny brought a Unimog. But uh, just saying quickly, we met Kenny in Colorado. Yep. And in Colorado, he was driving around with a Unimog. And we went from Colorado to New York with a Unimog. And us, we also were on the way to Newfoundland. Long story short, in New York City, we met up again. Yep. And Kenny, thank you so much. He showed us New York City, his town. Um, and we were there with our rig. You're going to see a little bit of this now here. And uh, yeah, now we met back at the Caravan Salon in Düsseldorf. Yep. Because Kenny was buying a Unimog. And now, Kenny, are you ready to give us a tour of your Unimog? Yeah, definitely. Ready? Awesome. So Kenny, so we are right now in front of you, Unimog. Mm -hmm. It looks lovely. What year? What what's the engine? Tell me the basics. Okay, so uh, it's a 1990 um, 1550L with a three with a 366 LA in it. Um, it's boosted up by Helgeth, so it's got the higher horsepower, bigger intercooler. Um, stock Unimogs run about 150 horsepower in this series. And this one's pushing right now 320. Oh, 300. So 
320, and what's the weight? Uh, total weight is 6.8 tons. Okay, so you stayed below the 7.5, nice. And we're talking about 6.8 tons with the cabin on the back. Correct. Yeah, that is amazing. Yep, so it's and not too heavy. Um, I like that. You know, going off-road and stuff, I don't want to be super heavy. I see here, for people who are wondering, this is a German number plate. Mm -hmm. But this red thing means basically you can tell to the American folks out there, it wasn't a problem for you to get this, right? This wasn't is a problem. I went to the plate shop in Bochum, where I bought the vehicle from the owner. And um, there was a plate shop close by with, a, I guess, in America we call it the DMV. Yeah, the registration, uh, yeah. So um, it was pretty easy. I went there. The guy told me what I needed, got the export plate, one month. You can get up to six months. Okay. One month is enough for me for now, and then I'll be driving it over to Montenegro, and I'll be registering it over there. Nice, you gotta do a Europe tour. Yeah, a little I mean, small. through Europe, you know? Yeah, awesome. on a small little getaway for like four weeks. So, perfect, perfect. Yeah. And then this baby, who knows, maybe it goes to the United States, like, right, you said, or yeah. it stays, he will. I'm thinking it's gonna stay in Europe for a couple of years. Since it's here now, there's so much to see. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Now can you show us the interior of the MOG? Ah, nice, right. neat looking. So yeah. what are we seeing here? All right, so I'm sitting on Recaro bucket seats. Uh, they're pretty comfortable. They hold you nice and tight. I love them. Pretty much everything here is standard Unimog. This was a military truck, so you have the NATO switches. Uh, this feature here was pretty cool. Again, uh, I think they call this feature blackout lighting. So if they don't want any lights to be visible, they would slip this lens over and you know the vehicle just goes dark. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. I see that you have a radio up there. Yep, radio, two speakers. The hatch. Another light here. Um, the owner put this in himself. I actually like it a lot. You know, it's handy. Phone. Headphones. I got cup holders here, which is pretty cool because mogs don't have cup holders. <laughs> yeah, Germans don't want you to drink anything and drive. No, no, no. You have a hatch up there you talked about? Yep. That's pretty neat. The military hatch, so in the army, I guess they'd put a machine gun up there. And I know that some fire departments that use this series, I've seen like, you know, this spray, spray guns. guns yeah. fires. Oh my God. And Here's Kenny and me. And he wanted drone footage, so I have to do it quickly. We are parked here, you see that in the background? We are parked here and the drone is up there. And guess what? The firefighters are coming. So this is some serious stuff. Sorry, I didn't plan that good that I have nice neighbors. I already say, Danke schön, Laub. Freiwillige Feuerwehr. Hab euch lieb. Um, pretty awesome that they came. Like yeah. Five, 10 minutes. <laughs> Got it. Is that, was that it? We got it. You got it? Yep. This guy's the man. Is it still alive? Look at this. Show him. Show him. Look, I mean, only size. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm sorry. We have a YouTube channel. This big is the best. He was it up here. Kenny, that's your footage. Check out the video of Kenny riding in Germany. This is the footage. Wahnsinn. Oh my god, thank you, my village, everybody came, the firefighters, there it is. Conny, danke, große Shoutout an die Feuerwehr Laub, Freiwillige Feuerwehr. And I see that he did all this new, like the, I don't know, the flaps, the sun screens. Sun, these, are actually, uh, these are actually original to the Oh, mark. really? Yeah. Yeah, this is a good, pretty good shape. Yeah. I've seen worse. <laughs> he kept it in. He kept it in really great shape. And this year again, this is the uh, the overdrive. So with this, I'm able to do like I was telling you before. I'm able to cruise at 110 kilometers an hour. And if I really want to push it, I can go up to 130, 135. Nice. And you you have three differential unlocks, obviously, right? Yes. So right here is in two wheel drive. One switch over is just four wheel drive, differentials open. And the last one is differential, rear differential lock. And he put it in something extra where I have this button here and when I press, it then locks the front differential. Most MOGs, when you lock the differentials, it just, everything gets locked, but then it's really hard to turn. So he 
he did something where it's only locking the back. But if nice. you do want to lock the front, you know, so it's easier to see it. But if you do want to lock the front, you have that option as well. Perfect. Yeah. Nice. Uh, 12 volt, 24 volt. This right here belongs to the MOG. So here I'm charging my phones, stuff like that. And then I also have ports here for 12 and 24 from the box batteries. You know, these are the Unimog batteries. These are the camper batteries. And I was thinking of getting like a little Dometic fridge here, put some drinks when I'm on the road and, you know, something else. Nice. Yeah. All right, Kenny. So here it says, I read the Helgeth. Helgeth is a German Unimog specialist, right? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. You want a Unimog to go fast, you bring it to them and anything else really that they do. Okay. So they, they, yeah. I see some extra, uh, how you call it, shocks. And it has their tuned shock absorbers and the springs. Yeah. Um, gives it a much better ride and it's like dialed in, you know, German style precisely. So. Well, I felt we'd, we went a little gravel road now yeah. uh, to get to this beautiful place here. Um, and it, it feels really good. And it wasn't even air down. Yeah. So the truck also has high speed ring and pinions. So that okay. also gives it a better cruising speed. You can go faster on the highways. Oh, wow. Because so, of this, you were managed to go in 120. Yep, with that overdrive and then the uh, different gearing and differentials, you're able to go faster. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I want one that too. Yeah, most, <laughs> most Unimogs, they cruise at around 55 to 60 miles an yeah. hour. Uh -huh. And uh, it's very loud in the cabin. The RPMs are all the way up. Uh -huh. So it's, it's, uh, it's, not for, not it's not for everyone. You know, there's a lot of guys that do it and they're okay with it. Mm -hmm. And um, I've done it before in other trucks and it's fine. Mm -hmm. But uh, this was like a night and day difference. Wow. I was on the Autobahn and I was passing trucks. Cool. Something I was never able to do before. Nice. I'm always in the right lane, and um, yeah, <laughs> you know, this was a this was I a cool experience. I see that you're really happy. Yeah. with it. Yep. <laughs> nice. It's still very slow, but for a Unimog, very fast. <laughs> nice, cool. So this is also special tires, right? Yep, these are uh, six bolt Hutchinson wheels, um, which is pretty hard to get. Uh, you can find them in ten bolt variants, but uh, you know. Then you have to put these adapters on to fit those 10 bolts and okay this is kind of sweet because it just bolts right up yeah it's nice and uh, the the reason for that is you can lower the tire right yep uh, these are bead locks. Air, bead locks exactly you can get down super low um, it's got the michelin xm 47. i love this tire i mean it's, it's only rated for 55 miles an hour yeah on the highway but that's at full load so we, a lot of guys you know they do drive faster because they think that you know Michelin gave it the rating for 55 but it at a certain weight it's not too heavy so yeah. I was doing fine yeah perfect perfect yeah nice nice system we are trying to get those wheels so I mean not the tires we're trying yeah. to get the bead lock it's so. sweet the aluminum let's let's see mm -hmm. so what's all this is we hooked them up for Germany mm -hmm. I hope you bring this along with you I definitely will check it out keep it on there I wish it was a little bit smaller, so like each country <laughs> I go to, I can kind of like, you know, put it up on the exactly. box. Exactly. pretty cool. Soon you're not going to see this uh, truck anymore. Yeah. So there's more customizations or is yep. it all? So um, the exhaust is custom too. That's from the Hellgats. Uh, I have a 300 liter fuel tank. And then I have the original Unimog tank on the passenger side, which is like uh, 35 US gallons, I think. I'm not sure what that is in liters, but... Um, I have a pretty good range with this. Okay, mm -hmm. and this box is a German military box, right? This started out as a German military box. Uh, I believe it's a Zeppelin box. Okay. And then the previous owner had it modified by a company. You see the top, how it's raised. They put in windows, nice, storage yeah. boxes. It's got a cassette. And usually I, I saw, I know a little bit, usually they tie them down. Correct. But your guy, he tie, he made it fixed with fixed bolts and... Yep, he originally had it tied down um, and he was worried that when he goes off road that something can happen. So he had them bolt it down to the, uh, to the bed. Okay. And, and I, I see that you don't have a walkthrough, but that's not a problem because you don't need it actually. Yeah, no pass through, um, but there is a hatch up top that you'll see later inside. Yeah. So if I ever do need to get out in an emergency, I can just climb up through the hatch. Nice. Pretty cool. So here's your toilet. Yep. Uh, we all know this. The cassette. Yep. <laughs> so you have a bathroom, but we're going to walk inside uh, in a couple of minutes. And what's this? This is a storage box or? This is the gray water tank. Oh, the gray water tank. Oh, yep. also custom. Yep. 
Nice. This is the back, also massive mm -hmm. and beautiful. And oh, I see you have awning. Awnings on actually two sides. I saw yesterday Kenny was uh, hanging out at my place. Uh, he spent actually his first night in this in his own camper at my place. I feel honored in yep. our driveway. Um, uh, this light goes on automatically when you reach at night, right? There's a sensor on there, so sensor. when you get close to the cabin, it'll turn on. So don't mess with this Unimog when you see it at night. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, nice. So I know that now. We figured out this was the old window. The guy had it before, changed it to a bigger window. So here we see the stairs. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see that now uh, you just have it hanging there and then you take it off and put it here. Mm -hmm. In this box is the 230 shore power. Correct. So this is a European box, so you have 230 volt in there, right? Yes. Yes. But what's in this box? Outdoor shower. Ah, okay, nice. So you can hook a hose. There's actually, I believe, a faucet already inside. Okay, nice. Yeah, there's a faucet in it. This yeah. is pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Here you have extra stairs. Yeah, this is always climb. handy. Funny to climb to the top, pretty cool. And the nice homemade sand, how you can sand boards, right? Yep. That's pretty cool because usually the, we will have the, and but I heard with a weight, uh, with, a, with a heavy truck, they if you really use them, they get bent and stuff. But yeah. this material I heard is better, right? The previous owner was telling me, don't buy the other stuff. He said the truck is too heavy and uh, when you go to put them back, they'll be crooked. Yeah. He said he's had the best luck with these because once you put them back on, he goes, they like straighten out. They slide in, yeah. So The ones we're going to have is, is the other version that you didn't like, but we're going to have two bolts in the middle. So when they're crooked, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to bolt them here. Oh, screws in. Yeah. Okay, I like that. That's so, a good idea. Another storage box, I assume? Yes. This is the original tank? Yep. So you're going to probably pump over from the big one, right? There's a switch inside the truck that I hit. And when I'm running low on fuel, press the button and it starts to pump fuel into this tank here. OK, all thought through. Yeah. Nice, nice detail. OK, water tank, you can fill it here. Uh, and these are nice. There's an X and a shovel. I yeah. mean, it's pretty, pretty cool. You have a satellite dish. Yeah, uh, I, I think mean, that only works in Europe, but I, I still haven't even tried it. That right there is the battery. two batteries. So the MOG itself is 24 volts, so there's two batteries wired in series. And um, it's the military batteries as well in there. Nice. Mm -hmm. And a uh, fresh water tank is 300 liters. Oh yeah. Of course, you have here the, the inlet, air inlet. Correct. Um, and you have nice, beautiful Hella lights. Yeah. So at night, you're not going to be lost. Mm -hmm. And the hood, I mean, it was really awesome. You can just with a, you have an extra uh, key for that, right? Yep. It's like a rally truck. You can take this off, off. just off. Mm -hmm. it's and this is the uh, this is like a special grill that they used because they needed the space for the intercooler and other things in there. That they nice for that for that you know increased horsepower. And I'm a fan of this grill. Yeah, it looks looks awesome. So you want to see the inside? I think I give over hand over to Isabella now, and she goes with Kenny inside and check it out. Hi, now it's my time and we are here with Kenny and now is the inside time to check it out. But only a side story, this t-shirt you saw in Fabian and also in me, Grimaldi's. This is from New York, a pizzeria, Paris that we went with Kenny. Yes. This was pretty cool, right? Yeah, you guys liked it, right? Yeah, this was the best pizza in New York. You guys, I think, can see a picture we will put for you guys because it was a really nice day. <laughs> now let's check the insides. Perfect. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Look at that. Kind of reminds me of flying Lufthansa. Yeah, it's true. Is that pod? <laughs> true, all the furniture and everything. Yep. Okay, I will come here. Mm -hmm. That we have a little more space so that Papa can come with the camera. All right. So, propane stove, uh, cool box. It's big. Yeah. It's nice. Mm -hmm. For one person, it's a lot of space. Not bad, right? Yeah. Get, cool. I haven't even tried this out yet. I know that it works, but still <laughs> yeah, haven't tried anything yeah. and it's still... Nice. And then I see that underneath is more storage for the kitchen. Yes. Plants, I think, for one or two people is perfect, perfect. space. Short-term yeah. trips, I think it's perfect. Here also is like our system in the B-Mobile to open. Yeah. Very nice. This shelf is pretty cool too. Mm -hmm. And I see that you have there then the suites. Is... Yep, for the lights. Okay. The 24, whole... 24 volt. Nice. Little closet here. Oh, okay. Uh, wow. Hangers inside and nice. long shirts and stuff. Same thing down here. Nice. Up here we got two shelves. 
and I see that you have a really big living room. This is like you can fit really easy, four people. And this is your sleeping room too. Yep, so this table comes off very easily, uh -huh. fills in this space here. Okay. Got the mat, goes right in and wow. perfect for me. And like I said, you know, maybe sometimes someone wants to tag along. I have space possibly yeah. for someone else. Yeah, and it's else. nice because you have just above the bed a nice window. Mm-hmm. Cool. Let's get some ventilation there's here two for, clicks. for Fabian. Yeah. yeah, there's two clicks. We had those in our... Beam first. Interview. Yeah, one. Mm. One more. Two. two. Yeah. Maybe there's three, Fabian. Maybe, maybe there's, there's three. three. <laughs> Let's check. Hey! Uh -oh. <laughs> And the air circulation is amazing because you have here, you have here, up on the kitchen. Yeah. I see then here a little storage. Yep. And then, yeah, 12 and 24 volts. I also have a diesel fired heater. Okay. So um, that's pretty cool. Nice. I gave it a shot last night. Worked great. Yeah. And outside, you were talking about the satellite dish. And I see you have a TV behind you. Yep. Uh huh. Cool. This is, comes back. Oh, it's wow. It's adjustable. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. You know, this build was done in like, uh, I think in the early 2000s. Okay. But for, you know, for almost 20 years ago, it held up very well. Yes. And uh, it kind of does have that early 2000s vibe to okay, it. Okay, nice. Know? But I, I love it. Yeah, it's amazing. And then this red thing above, what is this? This here is the, this holds down the satellite actually. Ah, okay. It's mechanical. Okay. And. Uh, this here is where you turn it, I guess, to adjust ah, the angle. Ah, you can adjust yourself. I, have, I know absolutely nothing about this, but yeah. he was saying here, uh -huh. I'll get some basic channels and stuff, so. And I see that you have also LEDs light yep. around your truck and here also, right? Yeah, it's cool. So at night when oh, I'm here and big. I set up bed, I can just, you know, I'm on the phone or if I got a book, it's pretty cool reading lights. This is, you know? it's an LEDs. Yeah. Wow, mm -hmm. nice. Same thing here, screen, shade, I can open up the hatch. Uh-huh, and you said before that you have heating, I see here under the couch, you have also... I have all the, I have the vents, yep. Yeah, what means that you can then, is winterproof yeah. this car. And what's cool too, this one has a feature where um, it uses the heat from the Unimog to heat the cabin. Oh, wow. So like if I'm, you know, if camp is, let's say a half hour away, I could hop out of the truck, jump uh -huh. inside, turn the heat up. Wow. And when I come in, at campsite, uh -huh. it'll be warm in here. I don't have to use any, I don't have to use this, which yes, uses diesel. this is amazing. Well, our old one, our Bimobile didn't mm -hmm. have that, but now our new one, we have that. <laughs> yeah. We are really happy under the with that. Under the seat here, uh -huh. um, is I got the two batteries. Oh, and, how uh, much uh, do you have? Do you know? Um, I honestly don't. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> I know there's two batteries. There was, I was asking him a bunch of questions and okay. I was like, you know, it's like I'm taking in so much at one time. Yeah. Like I know yeah. Mogs pretty well, yeah, but when it comes to camping. You only need to open camping, and check the capacitor. Yeah, I just okay. had to open up, check it out. And I see that you also have a radio on board. Yep. Cool. cool. And that's your nice. battery this measurement is... charging. Yeah, it's pretty basic, but does the job. On this side here, yep. underneath is where I have the uh, fresh water tanks and a hot water heater. Yeah, okay. Water pump. Uh-huh. And under here is more storage or something under this seat? We have storage here as well, correct? Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, and you know, I was thinking about getting some spare tools later on and just keep them in there. There is extra space inside. Oh, perfect. It's not like the water tank, so that heater takes up everything. It's okay. actually good storage for things that you don't use all the time. Yes, nice. Yeah. And now we go then to the bathroom. Okay. Now bathroom time. All right. Wow. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Mm -hmm. For me, little girl, and for big boys too, because there is a special thing about this toilet that you guys don't know about it. Let's, can you show us this part? Okay. <laughs> so when you do want to use the toilet, uh -huh. this comes up right here, slides in. So you're more comfortable to use the space. And uh -huh. now when oh, you want wow. to, yeah. Now you took the sink away and now you can use the toilets easier. Mm -hmm. Cool. Got and you little, have a uh, mirror, yeah, a storage, yeah. a window, light in the shower. Mm -hmm. But what else has this toilet? Well, I'll show you right now. This is some James Bond stuff right here. What? This opens up, oh, that was already open. Okay. Open what right. will happen? Show you right now. Come on this side. Okay. 
What? It slides in. <laughs> Look, then, uh, that's a toilet. And you got a this shower. Shower, amazing! Look I that. love it. Let me take this bad boy. Hang it up. Now you got a pretty decent sized shower. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. This space enough for this shower. Yeah. And for a big boy like you, it's yeah. perfect. Perfect, right? Not too yeah. bad. Yeah. And here you guys can see the whole yeah. closet moves front, the whole thing, and then you get double space in your shower. Yep. Pretty neat. Never thought of that. Was a yeah. genius. Yeah, true. Awesome. And there's Fabian. <laughs> the outside was amazing, but the inside is so cozy. It's small, but perfect. Like I said, for one of the two people, it's pretty cool. Two people, I would say. Two uh, people. Comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. Because the guy that I had before was you, right? It was a couple. Yeah. Him and his wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Maybe if someone else wants to tag along, they got to bring a tent. Yeah, you <laughs> see? <laughs> Outside. <laughs> but there's an outdoor shower. Somebody wants to tag along with Kenny. He travels alone. Mm -hmm. Who knows, ladies, out there? <laughs> <laughs> then, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have also the community, the members area. There we post some videos for the members. Then if you want to be part of it, please click on the link above also for join the community there. And yeah, thank you so much, Kenny. Anytime, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> and see you when we see you. Thanks for following. And uh, yeah, by the way, we are planning on doing an online course for you out there. So we have a little survey here. You can find that in the description, the link, or up here. I don't know where we're gonna put it. And please take, if you want to, or if you can, take two minutes to fill in the survey. It's nothing what you have to, you don't get a follow-up if you don't want to. You know, it's just a survey that helps us to understand why are you watching this, you know? I mean, we live this, we love it. I know why we love it, but why do you love it? Why? So let us know in this little survey. Thank you, see you when we see you. How is it in there? It's awesome. <laughs> okay, see you when we see ya. Bye bye.